welcome back to my youtube training so this is part 18 of the sscm training in this training we'll be discussing about how data is being published to active directory so now we've actually configured our discovery all the different discovery methods as you can see so let me go here to our site under um under the hierarchy configuration and we have the active directory forest so if I click the Active Directory Forest, you can see we have our domain name surface. I have the description, which is the kevglobal.com. And we can see the discovery status, which says succeeded. So if, you're, if yours is not saying succeeded, which means there's something wrong with your Active Directory Forest. So if I right click on my domain surface, you can see we have the option show Active Directory site. We also have the show IP subnet. So here, if you click the show IP subnet and you have different IP sub subnet which you've configured in your environment, it's going to actually display the different IP subnet. And also, if I click show Active Directory site, you can see we have our default first site name. And also, if you have a different site you are managing, because at this moment, we only have just one primary site. So if you have different sites you are managing, all the sites will actually be displayed here in your on another default on your active directory site name so if i right click let me just right click and then click um my domain surface and click properties so if you click properties you should make sure that the discovery site and subnet in the active directory forest is actually checked and also if i go to publishing here you can see that my domain name is actually also checked here so you should make sure that the, your domain name your primary site is actually checked you can see that this is my primary site so let me just click ok and now let's go to our domain controller and check if everything is being published to our domain server so let me go back again to my domain controller so here if i go to my active directory users and computers you can see i can see actually more information monetization unit and more record but if you want to see if i go to view and i uncheck the advanced feature you can see i'm seeing actually less information so to see more info just go to uh, view and then click advanced feature here you can see we are seeing more information so go to system and on a system you can see we have a system let me see we have our system management so this system management is actually the folder we created when we try to configure our configuration manager so on your system management you can see that two record have been created so if i right click on the sms site and i go to properties here one of the attributes you can see it is actually this attribute that actually determines which um, information that a config manager will be used to actually send information to your domain server and also determine which site exists you can see we have all the different information here for example we have our object um, category if i scroll down just scroll down a little bit no let me just scroll up i think and here you can see we have our distinguished name here you can see our sms site that is our site name and you can see the chronicle name which of course is the sms site and that's your site name and also if i go to here under the sms.mp which of course with this sms.mp this actually determines the which refers that this is actually a management point so which means if i go to properties under properties and I go to attributes you can see we have also the clone the clinical name you can see it's also our gives us our management point which is also the babe the with my domain name and where my domain where my configuration man manager is installed so this is actually telling us that this server where my uh, configuration manager is installed is actually a management point which we are going to use to manage all our client devices so thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. In our next video, we'll be discussing about or we'll be exploring the device and users collection. So I'm going to take you through all the device and users collection we have in our configuration manager. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT videos. So you can just click on the next video to go to the part 19 of this tutorial. Thank you very much and see you next. Bye.